last video we have seen how to insert a record through workbench this video we are going to learn how can we update the record through workbench same update operation very simple so for an example i'm going to use the same lead data sheet okay this this particular uh, excel is what we have used to insert the data we have inserted all the data of uh, these records and if you see here for the last three leads jason lewis and gary there is no phone number i'm going to insert i'm going to update the uh, phone number of jason gary and lewis or let's say only gary my requirement is i'm going to upload i'm going to update the phone number of one or multiple records okay how can we do this concept here is this if you are updating a record please understand this concept okay this is where the confusion comes sometimes see salesforce provides you this id whenever a record gets created and this is a unique id for every second uh, every single record that you have this is the unique id if you have trillions of record in lead object doesn't matter you have the id which is unique no matter how many records you have this id will be always unique and because it's a lead no that's why it's like 00q 00q is basically a lead id whenever you find 00q starting with um, these three letters and it would be a lead record now the point is if you want to update a record if you want to update a record then you have to find out the id of the record and put it in the excel file how does system know that which particular record you are trying to update until and unless you specify the id as well in the excel file the update operation cannot be done have you got it the concept is you are updating but which record you might have trillions of data i mean with the same name uh, gary there could be 10 records so name cannot be unique so you have to provide this salesforce id which is unique here whenever you want to perform the update please make sure you provide unique id which is the salesforce id in the in the um, this thing so now if you have let's say thousands of record you have thousands of record which you want to update how do you think how can you get the id of all thousand records will you go and you know open the record and manually copy the id from this url that's not possible so what's in your mind what do you think how can you um get the id of all 10000 records that you are going to update i think you 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 already have that idea yes export so you have to first export the data with the id you getting me right i first have done with the import insert operations and these are the id that has already been created now i'm going to go write sql query and export the data first with the id same column we will use okay the same um sql query that i used in the export operation i'm going to use because i have included id here not a problem click on query see i have clicked on the bulk csv file bulk csv button so this gives me the file to download click on download open with excel and this is the record if i open the name right see this name there's a name called gary do you find gary somewhere this is the gary's data what i'm going to do is i'm going to update the phone number of gary over here in this sheet but if you find there is no phone number that i have included in my sql query so the phone number is blank uh so you got it right so i have to first uh write phone in the sql query if you go to the sql query type comma phone correct and then query let me close all the existing open excels
Now, if I click on download, this will give me the Excel file with including the phone number field. Correct. Let me open this. And here we go. Here we have the phone field as well. Okay. So if you see here, name and phone. And this is the Gary record. And the, the phone number is blank. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter phone number of Gary, which is this phone number of uh, Luis, which is okay. Phone number of Jason, which is this. Remember the number, okay? So now I am done with um, everybody's phone number 10 sevens, right? Now, this is something I'm going to update in the Salesforce. As I told you, I need the ID and I have the ID here available, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm going to click on save as browse. Desktop and save the data as uh, update lead. Okay, and when you save, please make sure everything you deal with uh, CSV. Okay, Salesforce don't understand Excel, so make sure you choose the CSV as the type, and then save. And you, and you should always use CSV as the type. Okay, done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here, data and update. I have already selected lead. Select the form browse the file and the file name is what i just have saved this file right updated leads select this click on open what is the next step next step is the mapping mapping i don't have to do it because everything is already mapped id is mapped with id city is mapped with city country with country and so and so so done with the mapping and this is where is asking me to confirm the update so total the file uploaded three records with salesforce id All these records are updated. Only one record has not been updated. That's what I was telling in the previous video. When you have millions of records, I mean, when you have many records and few of them has not been updated, then you will see the result over here. And the, and the reason also. See why this record, uh, the 35th record has not been updated because that's the record which has been converted into account contact opportunity. That's what it's telling cannot update the converted lead. That's an error. So this is again another line that you have to note it down. Salesforce updation, I mean the data loading. Okay, it doesn't matter what tool you use, workbench or next few next few videos, we're gonna explore other tool as well. So it doesn't matter if what tool you use, Salesforce will respect the backend automation that you already have in the system. Which means let's say you have a validation rule that phone number cannot be more than 10 digit and in the excel file you have uh, put the phone number as 12 digit you're gonna get the error so that particular record which has more than 10 digit phone number will not be inserted and you will see the error over here you know what i'm saying so every single record that you are inserting through whatever tool will always respect the backend automation that you have and for that if few records are not matching with it any those records will be dropped will not be inserted or updated so let me go back to the records and uh, quickly open okay uh, how can i go back to the records i have a very simple process okay which record by the way i have updated gary what is the id can you please copy the id see i can copy the id from directly from the excel go back here remove every single thing after the force.com Put slash control V right I can go to the record directly so this is the um, record name Gary and if you see here this is the phone number oh this is Tom right I'm sorry I just have copied some other um, I think I copied this yeah this is Tom's ID is check this out I have to copy this above one right so copy this ID, which is Gary's ID. This is Gary, right? And the phone number should be what? Uh, 99999. Okay. So I'm going to remove this, replace with Gary's ID. And here we go. This is Gary's phone number. 
Make sense? If I go back to my Excel and copy Luis's ID, okay, Luis's number should be 8888. If I go back, remove everything, replace with Luis's ID, here we go. I have the phone number of Luis as 88. So the record has actually been updated. Okay, so this process is very simple. Let me just quickly repeat whatever we have discussed so far. We actually used Workbench to update the records. And to update the record, the most important field is the ID. Because Salesforce tracks the data based on the ID. ID is the unique key for every single record. So you have to make sure that you include the ID of the record as well in the Excel file. And how do you get the ID? For that, we have to write the SQL query here to fetch the data, to export the data. Got it? So I have exported the data first in an Excel file. I have changed whatever I have to change here. Done. And then I have saved that file. Okay. And after that, I clicked on this data, went to update and selected the file, mapped everything, done. Okay, so this is like very simple way. Uh, I mean, I find Workbench is very user friendly and I use Workbench a lot for my purpose, my uh, data loading purpose. And I would definitely recommend to use Workbench as well uh, because that's pretty much handy. Okay, next video, we are going to explore the other operations that we can perform here. Okay, see you in the next video.